on News 5. Hate speech is not recognized as an exception to the First Amendment. Hate speech versus free speech. It's a debate raging on one Cleveland campus after flyers encourage members of the LGBT community to take their own lives. Tonight, Cleveland State is addressing the growing backlash over its response to that hateful flyer that was posted on its campus. And as we first told you yesterday, the flyers went up the same day the school opened a new LGBT center. News 5's Mona Kozar Abdi is live from campus. And Mona, school officials told you the flyers are protected under the First Amendment. Danita, CSU's president just sent a new letter to students saying that while personally he does not condone the message that was on that flyer, the school tells me that legally they can be posted on campus. The sinister message posted for all to see. This is kind of uh, not cool. It's not cool at all. The flyer attributed to a group called Fascist Solutions depicts an illustration of a man with a rope tied around his neck, a rainbow heart on his chest, and the words follow your fellow expletive. And the fact that stuff like this actually is going around is really upsetting. The flyers posted Thursday, the same day the school opened its first LGBT center, were taken down by CSU immediately but not because of the outrage it sparked or because of the hate-filled message. School officials tell News 5 it's because the group didn't follow proper posting procedure. Hate speech is not recognized as an exception to the First Amendment. Attorney Eric Long does not represent CSU, but like the school's legal counsel, he explains that it's all a matter of free speech. There's always going to be a, the other side to this, but there's going to be people that oppose that, and the people that oppose it by the same amendment, exactly right, do have the right to express their opposition, even if it's done in a hurtful way. In a message to students, CSU's president clarified that he finds the flyers reprehensible. However, the school tells me that had the group followed proper posting procedures, the flyers would have stayed up. And in that letter, the school's president reaffirmed the fact that CSU works to make the school inclusive and safe for all. And he also mentioned that tomorrow they will be hosting a student forum for any students who would like to discuss concerns. That will be at the main campus building. In Cleveland, Monaco Sarabdi, News 5.